Hey, welcome to the Trucking Risk and Insurance Podcast. This is going to be an exciting episode today. We have the one, the only, the infamous, the famous, the just beautiful Wendy Patton of ISB Global Services with us today. Um, she's going to talk about an event that's coming up called Biz and Breakfast. I have no idea what Biz and Breakfast is about. Unless it's tasty and edible, we're going to be fine. So let's get into today's episode with my co-host, Chris Harris. Yay, welcome hey, Wendy. Chris. Gosh, it's so good to see you, Wendy. Look at you're looking so shiny and bright and wonderful and you know, are you still as bossy as you usually are? Always, yes. Yeah. Good. Okay, then nothing yep. changes. We're all in the same But somebody has to keep you two in line and if it's me, then I'll I'll bear that brunt, yep. All right. Okay. Good deal. Well, good luck to you. We'll see how you make out. <laughs> oh, I'll make out quite fine. Thank you very much. Don't forget, I have the mute button on my side. So. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we might need it during today's episode. <laughs> you might. Biz and breakfast. I got to say it mm -hmm. right because I get ridiculed at home for saying breakfast. Uh, no, okay. Uh, biz and breakfast, as yep. in break fast. <laughs> yep. Exactly. What's this all about? So the Biz and Breakfast is a, is a, an event we started about uh, five years ago. And uh, when we first started, we had maybe about 20 people attend. And then the next year, it grew uh, to about 40. Then the following year, we had about 100. And then we started bringing in sponsors. And it was a very packed full morning. We figured having it in the morning from 7.30 till 1.00. That still gives people time to get back to their office and do any last minute things they need to do. So the Biz and Breakfast this year is um, about safety compliance in the insurance and trucking industry. We're going to be talking about um, how to use technology to onboard your drivers. We're going to be talking about compliance within the trucking industry through your insurance broker, making sure that you're um, compliant with all the uh, requirements that your insurance and uh, broker is asking of you, making sure you're doing criminal checks, um, abstracts, CVR, and most importantly, PSPs on your drivers. So um, we're going to be having um, lots of uh, guests. We're having a special guest um, coming up. So watch for that. I'm not going to tell you who it is. You've got to come and find out. Oh. It's um, going to be very exciting. So they're going to be coming and giving some information on, on the trucking industry, and um, it's going to be very good. We've, um, we're going to have um, a panel uh, talking about technology um, use, uh, for enhancing your safety compliance. Um, Marilyn Serber from 10th Street, who is the um, ISB and 10th Street are now partners here in Canada. Um, there, she's going to be moderating a panel with uh, John Harrison from TransRep. Leanne Drummond from CPC Logistics, and John Van Gies from Seaport Intermodal. And uh, then we're going to be um, having another panel talking about nuclear verdict and how we get there through a roadmap of, of a claim. And uh, Lisa Arsenault from uh, Stabler Insurance will be the moderator. And uh, Brian Schneider from Challenger, Kendra Emmett from Northbridge, and Heather Devine from Alexander Holborn. Uh, will be on the panel. So that's going to be very exciting. All right, let's go. Before we talk about nuclear verdicts, which John and I like, I mean, if for those who are watching and listening to this, uh, maybe they can now see why Wendy's on because it's all about safety and compliance at the Biz and Breck. Um, Absolutely. So this is why John was smart enough to say, Wendy, why don't you come on the show and say, hey, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Got to give kudos to my co-host there. Exactly, uh, exactly. Know. Well, um, uh, to me, it's very important to ensure that that's your advertising going up and down the highway. Mm -hmm. You want to ensure that the driver behind that wheel is compliant, should be behind the wheel, and has all the training and tools needed to be able to drive that tractor trailer up and down the highway safely because you, me, and all our family is on that highway, and we want yes. to ensure that they know what they're doing. Very much so. And <laughs> some drivers, I have to say, most of the drivers are really good and they do know what they're doing out there. And most of the companies are also good 
and the majority of the time they would be defendable in court. But there are some of those drivers who would not meet that description. And exactly. unfortunately, there are some companies, um, and I think this is where the biz and breakfast is really important. It's not because they um, don't want to comply. It's because they don't know about everything that it takes mm -hmm. to comply. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And some of the smaller carriers, let's be honest, they don't have the where for all to be paying for all these things for a driver that may come in the door and be there a month or two months and then they leave. So we also have a platform where the um, applicant can pay for their own background check, their own CVOR, their own PSP, their own abstract. They also get the information along with the recruiter mm. that that applicant is applying to. So that way that takes the burden off the company having to pay for a product that where a driver may only stay a couple of months. So then the driver's got that information for themselves, and then the recruiter also has it. So that removes the room for fraud, sure. which is rampant in the industry today. Unless yeah. you, even if you're a skilled recruiter, you are not going to be able to tell if an abstract, if PSP, CVR, or criminal check have been doctored. You just aren't, aren't able yeah. to do that. Yeah. Now let me ask uh, Johnny a question here, John. Um, mm -hmm. When with your customers, uh, how mm -hmm. often, or sorry, do you recommend that your customer pull an abstract after hiring? And if so, is there a time frame? Uh, yeah. Um, usually, uh, well, I've actually got a number of them who've gotten smart because of the what uh, Wendy's talking about with fraudulent documents. A lot of them are like the driver will come in with their own package usually as a rule. Uh, but as part of that final decision, they're pulling an abstract uh, and uh, criminal search, PSPs and whatnot before handing the driver the keys to the vehicle. So. Absolutely. And, and a lot of people don't realize how important a PSP is. Uh, they mm -hmm. they think, well, we don't go to the U.S., so we don't need it. <laughs> no, because you don't know if that driver, they may tell you we don't have U.S. experience, yeah. but at the end of the day, they have been in the U.S. So the yeah. PSP is, uh, uh, in my opinion, even more important than um, a CBUR yeah. and, an, and an abstract because yeah. that's telling you stuff that the driver's not going to tell you. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Because, well, well the, you know what? Any good driver that wants to hide something is going to know how to do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So when the, the driver is, and that's what the business breakfast is, is going to um, promote to carriers and insurance companies is that you need to be performing these doc, these uh, steps when you're onboarding a driver so that you understand that this driver is who they say they are. Because a lot of times drivers try to cut corners and don't want to comply. So this mm -hmm. way, even if they have to pay for the, it also ensures that they're going to show up for work. Right. Because a lot of companies, they interview, they, they uh, give an offer, they run the checks on the driver, and then they don't show up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So then yep. their company is out that money as well. So having the driver pay for it too also gives the onus and the responsibility on that That's driver true. They've already invested some money, so they're going to show up for work. Good um, idea. Perhaps a carrier might even say, hey, on the first paycheck, I'll reimburse you. But the, that way... Some, it, some carriers do do that because they want that incentive, but they also want to ensure that the driver shows up for work. So right. to your point, Chris, they, they could offer that after you've been with us six months here you get your criminal check or your mm -hmm. abstract back, mm -hmm. whatever product that you order. That's something that they could do, yes. Sure, sure. Yeah. Now, cool. the, um, the other uh, person uh, that's going to be speaking is Gina Succi uh, from West Hill Innovation. She's going to be talking about solar energy, which is very, very uh, popular today. So we're going to be hearing some tips and tricks and some information from her as well. Cool. So that, that'll be very interesting. Yeah, I mean... John knows I drive a, an electric car. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you do, Wendy, but so solar power is something that uh, I'm really interested in because one, I would love to have it at my house uh, mm -hmm. and then I could power my car and drive it yep. virtually on sunlight. That would be yep. really cool. 
but I don't know enough about it. And the last time I looked at it, it's still rather expensive. And I know Gina is not talking about solar for homes. She's talking right. about solar for transport. But it, Exactly. Still. For transport. And, and uh, they, they, they deal a lot with golf carts for the, mm -hmm. uh, for the golfing industry. You, let's face it, the carts are outside all day. What's the mm -hmm. best way to get them Perfect. charged is through that. Yeah. So you, yeah. Don't, have a, you don't have a plug in your house, John, uh, Chris, to charge your car? Oh, I do. I have a plug in yeah. my garage that I charge my car, but mm -hmm. uh, it's coming from the electrical grid. So I have right. to pay. Right. You want to put a solar panel. Well, she may be able to talk to you and, and guide you as mm. to who to reach out to. Maybe it's yeah. even them. I don't know. Yeah, no. And one of the things about West Hill that I found interesting, because I'm old. And <laughs> I, well, Not you, Chris. Not you. No, no. Hey. I'm older than the both of you, so cut it out about how well, old you are. Uh, I'm not sure you are, Wendy, but we won't get into that. Um, I was looking at West Hill's website, and they also do, as you said, golf carts, but they're also used in retirement communities, uh, yes, which please. I thought, hey, that's really cool, because if I can buy the golf cart, power it, power it with sunlight, that's economical. You can Absolutely. ride that around your neighborhood. Right. That's right. Go get your groceries. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. exactly. I mean, now, I'm just kind of wondering here, Chris, if you were to strap a solar panel to your car. Oh, I right? thought you were going to say my head. No, no, no. <laughs> I, you're going to be in the car. So, But I'm thinking the solar panel would be probably about 40 feet long, you know, by about 10 feet wide. Strap it to the top of your car. Could you not have a flying Tesla then? Yeah, <laughs> Perhaps. Let's yeah. get back to Biz and Breck. <laughs> He'd strap it to his back and be a flying monkey, too. It all Ooh, works. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. A hey. flying senior. A <laughs> flying senior. For those of you who haven't been watching, uh, flying cars are becoming very popular at the moment. Uh, uh, just... Germany's got several out. Anyways. Yeah. Um, now we're back in the Jetsons age. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And Long upstairs, overdue. I have a Rosie, by the way. My wife's, <laughs> oh, my wife's business, the, her receptionist is Rosa. So oh. we call her oh. Rosie from time to time. Ah. Oh, That's, there sorry. you go. The biz and breakfast. So we've got three <laughs> major components, or is there a fourth that I... Have? Well, there's a fourth, but it's, it's going to be a surprise. So Ooh, if you want to okay. see and hear about the surprise, you got to yep. come to the biz and breakfast. Um, it's uh, twenty five dollars uh, to attend. Um, you're going to get a nice breakfast, a jam packed uh, morning full of information, and you never know you might come away with a prize or two because we're going to be offering prizes as well to people that to attend. Well, there how, you go. How, how much yeah. did you say? Pardon? How much did you say to attend this event? Twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars, and you get breakfast. And you do, you get breakfast. 25 bucks, you get breakfast, you get to network with folks you know and people you yep. don't know, maybe get some, need some new people, and you get to listen to some innovative conversation for 25 bucks. Yep. I can't and go, I can't with, go for lunch. And you get to be with me for the morning. Oh, oh my God, that, that? that? Holy Jesus, that's, that's well, worth more than 25 bucks. Holy so wow. I say that too, yes, Jeez. absolutely. Oh, now, wow. you haven't said the date yet. Okay, so the date is going to be October 27th, um, and that's a Thursday, and um, it's going to be at the uh, Royal Ontario Golf Course. Ooh, on Trafalgar Road in Oakville. On Trafalgar Road, yep, and it uh, starts at 7.30 to 8.30 is going to be breakfast and registration, and then um, nine, around 9.15, um, we're going to be starting the, the speaking. Okay, so mm -hmm. the first topic again is all the about what? The first topic what? again is going to be talking, well, first of all, Michael Thompson is going to give a bit of an introduction. Okay, to, well, um, stop there. Who's Michael Thompson? I mean, Michael I know who Thompson he is. Michael Thompson is um, the General CEO. Pat. No, he's not. Well, he used to be the CEO of ISB, and that um, now has been taken over by Han Corin. Um, Michael, uh, takes care of all our, um, all our IT technology now moving forward. 
So he's cool. going to be talking about using technology to hire the right people. Okay. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. And topic number, so th that's kind of the introduction and then we get into... Introduction. And then the next, then the next panel is going to be on technology to improve and enhance safety and compliance. Ooh, and hence why you're on the show, mm -hmm. <laughs> because John and I are all about safety and compliance. Yep. 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 Well, that's you need to have that. Like I said, because that's the backbone of your business: your safety and compliance. If you don't have that, then your your, your business isn't going to be successful. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you're moving into kaboom, uh, nuclear verdicts with Lisa Arsenault and a panel. Exactly. And for our listeners, a nuclear verdict l is loosely defined as any verdict of 10 million or more. Mm -hmm. uh, that's generally what they call a nuclear verdict. So mm -hmm. and Lisa's talking about what, how to get into it or how to avoid it. Um, so nuclear verdict on how, how we get there and a roadmap of a claim. Ooh. Did Wendy, did you say, I know John and I have discussed this claim that was happened down in Florida. Did you happen to see the $999 million settlement, almost a billion dollar settlement in Florida and it involved a Quebec company as, <laughs> as an aside, um, did you see that one? About no, I didn't. Years ago? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. John and I have discussed it a number of times. Yeah. Basically, a truck driver uh, was on a cell phone. Mm -hmm. Distracted. Plowed into a bunch of cars. Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't mm -hmm. a pretty mm -hmm. one. Um, no. Yeah, but a billion dollar settlement. <laughs> wow. That's so, crazy. Talk about That's nuclear crazy. verdicts. Yes, Exactly. You know, exactly. And, cool. and John and I have talked about the one in California. Before this billion dollar one, the one in California was the largest that I'd seen. And I think, if I remember, it was $355 million so, uh, dollar oh. settlement. Uh, it's just, wow. A, yeah. a horrific Crazy. crash as well. And that's usually what these are. Just yep. devastating loss of life events that are unjustifiable. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Like Humboldt, right? Same, yep. oh. same concept. Totally yeah. preventable. Totally yep. preventable. Totally. No need yep. to have. So yep. no. Yeah. Humboldt no. is. And, and that's why it's so important when you're onboarding your drivers to do the due diligence, to do mm -hmm. proper training. That is yep. so important. And we also have a product called TransClick and it's a survey mm, that the drivers like can take. And it will give you an idea of what kind of driver they are. Are they good for long haul, short haul? Should they be behind the wheel at all? Um, the other the other good tip it gives you as well is it has um, tr um, tips for the trainer. So when the driver gets in behind the wheel, the trainer's got all this information in their hands. They'll be able to see where the driver has strengths and where the driver has weaknesses. They can go over the strengths, of course, but really emphasize on the weaknesses. So that will get that driver on the road that much quicker because the instructor knows where their weaknesses are for that driver. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's hugely important. And a lot of companies have started to use this type of testing mm -hmm. because of the advantages it gives. Oh, huge, huge. Absolutely. Behavioral analysis is awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. It's, yes. It, gives huge insight into the driver and as you say the weaknesses and it gives the opportunity for a trainer to emphasize the strengths of that driver and to work on enhancing the areas of concern or areas that could be potentially improved to make the driver that much better again oh absolutely um, absolutely yep. Yep. yep yeah cool so cool let's awesome uh, so that was topic number two. Mm -hmm. What was the third one? And then we got the super duper surprise yep. one. Then we're going to be um, talking with Gina Succi uh, from West Hill Innovations on solar energy. Cool. And that's, cool. So I, I'm really excited about all three of those, actually, because yep. uh, safety and compliance. Go ahead, Johnny. I think I know who the special guest is going to be. 
Who do you think it's going to be? So, so if it was December, it would be Santa Claus. So well, it's if it not was December, it's not Santa Claus. Yeah. Like, so it's October. Unless you're having Christmas in October. Nope, nope, nope. So being as it's October and it's right near the end of the month, I'm betting Jack O'Lantern is going to make a surprise visit. Oh, it could be. Yes, it could yeah. be. So you have See, to come with I'm, your, you know. I'm if pretty smart. If, you know. if, if you're dressed up in a Halloween costume, you might even get a special prize. Oh, oh, now we're here. You know what? I was going to come to that event. I'd love to, but I'm already booked that day. I'm going to an event by ISB Global. Exactly. So, well, I, you're going I've to. Got the, it on my calendar. Good men. Good men. Well, we're, we really appreciate your support and the support of all the trucking carriers and the insurance carrier, uh, the insurance um, industry that is uh, sponsoring and and promoting the the mm-hmm. event. It's going to be an awesome morning for sure. Should be good. And, and for twenty five bucks, I get breakfast. You do, and you get to be with me. How I much don't... better of a day is that? And then I, you have I... you leave there. You go out and buy a lottery ticket because it's yeah, your lucky day. Breakfast exactly. with Wendy Patton all in one day. Who gets that? That's worth at least five hundred bucks. At least five hundred bucks, and we're getting it for twenty five dollars. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I, I'm just being left speechless here because yeah, yeah, I, I don't yeah. want to say anything that I have to cut out later. Oh well, don't fret, Chris, because you know I, I'm used to digging holes that I got to get myself out of later. Anyway, and I'm usually the one the having to drag them out of the hole, yeah, so it's yeah, all good. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, so you're gonna do the heavy lifting. That's huh? right. How would somebody register for this event? So somebody can send me an email at wpatton at isbglobalservices.com, and I would be happy to send them a link, and they can click on the link and register. Well, the link's going to be in the show notes below. Okay. Your email is going to be in the show notes below. we got to make it easier for people. Yeah. Exactly. Right? So they can just click on the link, and away they go. You know what would be really cool, Chris? What's that? Is if is if in the show notes below, we could import her picture. You click on her picture, and it takes you to the registration tab. That would be cool. That would be, but that you can't yeah. do that. Ah, darn it. So we just got to click on the link that says register here. Get to exactly. it. Exactly. YouTube exactly. has some restrictions yeah. as to what oh. you can put in the show notes. Yeah. And I'm not aware, and maybe you can, I'm not aware that you can put a uh, photograph in the show notes. Yeah. We could uh, do a smiley face icon, you know, emoji yeah. that looks like uh, Wendy. Let's just there keep it go. simple for Chris, because <laughs> yeah. Chris is the one that's got to do this stuff. We'll have register here or something identifiable. There you go. Exactly. There you go. Yes. Good deal. Well, Click and, here and for I, the best morning of your life. Exactly. And I was going to say, for, for, for 25 bucks, you can't go wrong. You should be here just for the information alone that you're going to get. So Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That exactly. is... <laughs> And we're gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna be there. Chris is gonna be there. We're we're you you know, come, feel free to come sit with us at the table. We'll uh, we'll, uh, we'll 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 eat your breakfast. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Kim Richardson will be there too. Oh, Everybody God, knows yes. Kim Richardson. Yep, so yep, we've had him on um, this. Yeah. Yep, it's all good. Marilyn Serber from 10th Street. She's yeah. awesome. She cool. and Lisa Arsenault, everybody knows Lisa Arsenault. Yeah. She's, you know, she's the backbone of the of the trucking industry on the insurance side of the house. So cool. it's going to be a, a great day. And uh, TTSAO is uh, is going to be a platinum sponsor. Um, cool. So that'll be good for any any of the schools that belong to TTSAO. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're, um, you know, more than welcome to to attend and, and learn more. Um, Aviva is a sponsor as well. Aviva, Northbridge Insurance, NAL, Lend Care. So we've got some very good sponsors coming up. Good, good. Yeah. Awesome. And Bruce Outrich is going to be there uh, doing the video and and taking pictures. So it's it's going to be a great it's going to be a great morning. And Absolutely. we can give a, a shout out to Bruce as well. The Lead Pedal Radio yep. Show, I think, is what he yeah. calls it now. Lead it Pedal is. Radio. Yep. So my buddy, Bruce. And, yep. uh, so with that, the link is in the show notes below. It is October the 27th, starting yes. at 730 in the morning. Absolutely. And for $25, you can have the best morning of your life mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. by Absolutely. having breakfast with Wendy Patton. 
Absolutely. And it's going to be at the Royal Ontario Golf Club at 6378 Trafalgar Road in Milton. Very easy to get to. Um, and it's a lovely facility. We were just there for the PMTC golf tournament on Tuesday, and it was you were. beautiful. Mm-hmm. Wow, a golf tournament. I remember running into you two, oh. <laughs> literally. And, and it didn't rain on the golf course. I know. Well, it rained about maybe 10 minutes, but not too hard. And, you yeah. know, we had our umbrellas. So it was, and then it got very warm after. So it was awesome. Cool. Yeah, it was a great, yeah, it it was a great morning. It the PMTC knows how to do a golf tournament, that's for sure. Private Motor yeah. Truck Council. They do, yes. And and Mike Million um is is awesome. Him and Annette, they do they do a great event. They're also uh gonna be um attending the event as well. So Biz and Breakfast, October the twenty seventh, seven thirty in the morning, Royal yep. uh Ontario Golf Course on Trafalgar yep. Road. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. And the link to register is in the show notes down below. Get a hold of Wendy. Mm-hmm. And for $25, $25, you can have the best morning of I your know, life eh? by having breakfast exactly. with Wendy Patton. Exactly. And not, I mean, not everybody gets that opportunity. Yeah. So if you want it, jump on the bandwagon while you can because yeah. tickets are going fast. So Cool. Yep. cool. Yeah, I was going to say there's only about three weeks away here. We're running out of time. Yep, it is. That's why having being on your show and and being able to, uh, you know, uh, talk about the event, that's going to get the word out there. And and lots of people are going to be interested because your show is a hit. I hear people talking about it all the time. Cool. Who who is that person? I want Uh, want them on the show. Glenn Caldwell. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Glenn Caldwell. Yes, Glenn. Yes, one of our avid viewers. <laughs> Glenn Caldwell and Kim Richardson are the two people that watch you. <laughs> uh, with that, Wendy, thanks so much for taking the time to come on. The, oh, thanks, uh, gentlemen. It's say, been a it's been a pleasure. Yeah, the, I almost said the lead pedal radio, but this is the no, trucking no. risk and insurance podcast. <laughs> yes, it's it's awesome to be to be on with you too. I mean, you guys are are, are the backbone of the uh, of the trucking industry as well. So, uh, thank you for everything that you do and and spreading the word about the biz and breakfast and and uh, compliance uh, across the board. It's awesome. Thanks. So. So thanks for joining us here with Wendy Patton, my co-host Chris Harris, and myself, John Farquhar, here uh, on the Trucking Risk and Insurance Podcast. So make sure you get down in the notes below. Click the link. Get registered for Biz and Breakfast by ISB Global. Great opportunity. Great networking event. And you know what? If you don't show up, you're missing out on the best morning of your life.